do a mango and avocado maybe? No, that's right. Maybe a sandwich actually. Because I've just got some buns. That's what I'll do. Sandwich. Deja. Tiny bit of ranch. Dijon. Mango. You got the cheese already. Do a couple of tomato. That should be good. And then we'll have boiled orange juice too. <coughs> Let's make this now. Go over here. some orange juice with it too. Here man, take this pass. Okay. <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of like random different cheeses from my cheese platter I made last night so I'm gonna put all those on it. just made this morning, super fresh, really good buns. How are you? Not bad. How are you doing? Yeah, it's gonna be killer. put on some mayo first we'll do the mayo and the ranch on the bottom and then we'll do the Dijon mustard on the top on there. My big fan, your food looks so good by the way. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Ooh, 
We're gonna load this up with meat here. So I'm gonna put the cheese down first because I got like three or four different kinds of cheese in here. And they're all like in bits, so I'm gonna put them at the bottom so they're easier to keep on the sandwich. Yeah, we'll throw that on there. It's gonna have lots of different flavors. Yeah, there's like Cavari, Provolone, a couple other things in there. Sprinkle it on there like a shredded cheese. Cause why not? I don't really think you can overdo cheese. Well, you can, and I usually do, but that's alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And then next, uh, we'll do the tomato. Pick something Indian. I will. <clears throat> I love like kind of korma and curry foods. Gonna be some healthy amount of tomato on here. That ends off. Already looking good. Thanks for the likes, guys. Appreciate it. You know, we're gonna have some orange juice to go inside. Must need like, you know, let's throw a banana on there. Let's throw a banana on there for some fruit on the side. That into a couple pieces. Okay. I'm gonna get that meat on there. Get some of the. Oh, sorry, guys. Try making garlic mayo at home. Egg whites and garlic. Yeah. How's it going, Crypt? These brands put too much preservatives in them. Yeah, I know, they do. I'm gonna start making some more homemade sauces. I'm just trying to load up right now because it we just went and got a bunch of gym gear and stuff, like new shoes and gym bags and all that today. And I'm gonna get a gym pass tomorrow, so I wanna load up on like protein and carbs and all that good stuff. So this one's gonna be like a prepared Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, I guess. Organic Dijon mustard, not that. Can't imagine mustard could be too bad for you. Not organic. I'm gonna go a little heavy on it. Because I think this one has a bit of honey in it. I could be wrong though, but it's got a bit of a sweet taste to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go a little heavy on it because I'm gonna use a lot of meat. And uh, <clears throat> got a lot of tomato in there. And to top that off, I have like a ton of different cheeses in there. So, what do we got there? We got cheese. Probably do like seven pieces of deli meat, I'm thinking. Sounds like a good number. <clears throat> I 
always like to like fold them up a bit too so they're not just on their flat. I'll do the last one kind of flat just to hold it all together. I think that's good for the sandwich. Just gonna throw this back in the fridge. That looks killer. That is a loaded cheesy sandwich. It's going to be good. I had to lick that ranch off. Okay. The plate's looking like shy of one thing though. I think we need like one more thing inside. So. I don't know. You know what, we're just gonna take it like this. It's gonna be it for now. Cause we'll probably have another snack later. All right, let's go eat this. Bunch of different cheeses, some chicken, deli meat, ranch, Dijon mustard, mayo, and then tomato, but I didn't put any greens on it. Oh. Hmm? I know. I'm gonna do this one without lettuce or anything. Okay. quickly have my bananas first. Some deja and rant. <sighs> I got a new hat today, too. When we're out getting stuff for the gym. Well, Kiki bought me one. Oh, bought me a hat. How about you bought this hat? Mm-hmm. Guys, thanks for all the likes. It's awesome. It, yeah, it's gonna be super good. I stacked up, there's like seven pieces of deli meat. There's like a whole Ramada tomato, like four different cheeses, and like a uh, tomato. We got some ranch and Dijon mustard, and then uh, a little bit of mayo. And this, the bun was just made this morning. It's like super, super fresh bun too.
<laughs> yeah. I'm trying to eat healthy. As healthy as I can, but it's gotta be tasty. And the amount that I cook and make food, it'd be impossible to make like all my sauces and stuff from scratch. I'd have to live in the kitchen because I already spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So many different cheese flavors in there too. I didn't do spinach or like lettuce or greens this time, but I just finished a salad, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. Oh, that is saucy though. Lots of ranch. Yeah, I just got back from down at the lake. Went down there for the sunset, it was super nice. Yeah, that chicken salad I just had was killer too. I didn't make that one though. I'm just eating a chicken like sub sandwich I made. It's got like four different cheeses, seven slices of uh, deli meat, some deja mustard, some ranch, tomato, and then a little bit of mayo. How's it going too? 
sandwich stream, he, uh, I just had a chicken salad before the stream, it was so good. Yeah, I was watching the sunset like half an hour ago, but just came back to eat. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm so hungry. I smashed sandwiches hard. You should have seen me kill that footlong sub yesterday. It's so tasty. <laughs> the honey chips, right? I'm back at my house, but if you mean like location, it's uh, Kelowna, British Columbia in Canada. To see the sunset. Yeah, um, Kelowna, BC. The sun sets around like 9.30 p.m. here. It's about 10 after 10 right now. everything down perfectly with the orange juice. It's all settling like perfectly. But I do feel, I was just gonna say, I feel I need, I need Smoke and then figure out something for dessert. Yes. Still not sure what. I have like a. It's not really dessert though. It's like a little. You know, it's like really dense cakes. It's like. There's a homemade one. It's like orange with like some pecans and a couple other like fruits in it. I don't know. Maybe cranberry or something. I'll have like a slice of that, but I don't really consider that dessert, so. Hmm. Find something tasty. Definitely need something else. Alright. What do we got in the fridge? It's been like proteins in here right now.
I have whipping cream, but I don't have any of the, like, sure. Uh, yeah. I have one of those things that you, like, can make your own whipping cream. Like, with this stuff, you just screw in that little thing of, like, nitrous oxide, but I'm all out of, I don't have, like, anything to charge it with right now. I haven't bought any of them in a while. I usually just use the coffee cream, or use the whipping cream for my coffee creamer. Um, I have to hold off on the dessert for now. I, can't, I don't really have anything that's good for it. Fruit, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Mango. Good call. Good call. Oh, mango. You can literally like sit there and eat like a massively loaded plate of it for like hours and not even feel full. Fruit's so good for that. It's just like endless tastiness and you don't get that like really full belly feeling. It's so good. Full of berries, yeah. Berries are awesome too. Berries with a little whipping cream. But even without the whipping cream, it's just so nice to eat berries. Any of you guys eat the peeling on your mango? Sometimes I do, just for fiber. Yeah, mangoes are so good. Less water. Mango too. Let's say a wild hair. Up at the bottom. Stick it. I usually have like a slice or two with the peel just to get the fiber, but it's a bit much to eat like a whole one with the peel. Mm hmm. There's a lot of fiber in the skin.
I just love fruit in the sense that you can literally eat it all day and not get full. It's just so good for you. So many nutrients. It's a mess, but oh, I know. I like dragon fruit too. It's like a, it's like a mix of kiwi and like pear almost, I think, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Avocados too, I like just started eating them in the last like year or two. Never really did before in my life, but I'm like learned to love them. So good now. Kiki makes me like this breakfast. It's like toast with like avocado, egg and cheese. And it's like so good. I love it. She doesn't put cheese on hers, but I put cheese on mine. <laughs> like eating highballs, yeah. Yeah, that is tasty. Good call on fruit for dessert. That was a good finisher. It's funny because I started that snack with the chicken salad and then I had the sandwich and then I had the fruit. I should have done the sandwich, or I had the banana first, but I, yeah, I could have done like the sandwich, the chicken salad, and then the banana and then the mango and it would have been like the perfect perfect way to do it but yeah awesome suggestion on the fruit the beauty of being a little yeah literally we don't have to do it we don't have to do it the way it's supposed to be do any order we want all right i'm gonna jump off for a bit though guys thanks for all the likes we got six likes on this live Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're sub, you'll, you'll see it pop up. Thank you, you too. All right, have a good night, guys. I don't know if I'll be back on tonight, but maybe. You're so good. Thank you, appreciate that. Aloha. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great night and keep being amazing. See you guys soon.